Alright, we're back with Let's Play Metroid Dread. And uh, last time, it's funny because I beat this boss the first time when I <laughs> left the headset off. But this time I actually failed to beat the boss, so we're gonna wrap that up here. Uh, we saw, well, I guess we can watch it again. It's the beginning of a new part, so it's not like. Unless one were to watch them back to back. Then, uh. Unless you were to watch them back and back, then it's kind of like. Didn't, We just can't wait watch the cutscenes. At the beginning of at the end of the last one, beginning of this part. We failed the boss fight earlier, which is funny because we didn't. Well I didn't, uh The mistake I made was uh trying to attack this organ, you know, even after well, I was supposed to be attacking his head, because that's actually where he gets the damage from. Are you able to rapid fire this one? I wonder if that's more advisable. Maybe it is. It seems to be working out pretty well. Anyway, he's not going to be invisible for much longer. And then we have to attack his actual weak point, not just the thing to make him visible again. Okay, so we duck here. Counter. Oh, the missile, missile. Face there. Oh. I guess I was supposed to jump over his head anyway. Wait a second. Oh, I guess, uh. Ready? Uh oh. Fortunately not. I guess they. Oh. Yeah, I, I was trying to just. I was trying to counter. Not by pressing the counter button the first time I played the fight. Like, the one that. The, the, the lost recording. Not really the lost. To make a cool, dynamic ending to the boss fight. Which I guess is kind of how it finished anyway, because, well, like I was saying, I, I didn't know to uh, to use the actual counter-attack. I was trying to suit during that, so I was just always taking damage the first time I fought it, which makes it all the more funny that I actually won without dying the first time. But I had, like, four health left in my energy tank. You know, I... I think I have an extra energy tank left over this time, but at that time, there was only four health left in total, and zero missiles left. So it was a close fight, which made it all the more exciting, which is all the more makes it all the more sad that, uh... 
then I had to get rid of it. But like I said, I probably should have made it, you know, uploaded it as a bloopers, and then and then gone back and done it for real. So we use the invisibility to get past there. Uh, not that it did as much good here, because we can't get past there. But I guess it's tutorial. Now we do use it here. Oh. Went pretty fast there. Yeah, you can kind of turn it off early if you want to save your energy. Anyway, well, the tutorial went over it, the, the written tutorial, but it uses a lot more energy to, to fire and spurt, but also uh, to, to just use your attacks in general. While using while while invisible. Okay, so I think yeah, we've been through there. So we want to go through doors that are invisible doors. I don't think that's uh, this area is going to be very fruitful. Okay, I pressed X a little bit early there, but it still worked. So that's nice, I guess. Maybe the timing isn't quite so strict. Now, when I was, when I really didn't know the timing, it was definitely too early, but it's not quite so strict as I thought. Alright, uh, oh well. That, this area was a little tricky. But I think it'll be fine now, because I got rapid fire. Yeah. Alright, there's fire here. We don't want to go through there. So I guess we're ready for a whole nother area. I don't. I don't wonder how many parts it took to get here in the original recording. It had to have been at least part three. I know that much. I feel like we're missing something, though. Shouldn't we have fought that one Emmy with the w w like gone through an invisible door to get? Uh. Actually, maybe we didn't do that. No, I guess not. So get the, the most recent time I killed an Emmy was when I had the when it was giving you the tutorial for using the rapid fire thing. These guys actually killed me the first time. Well, I was at pretty low health anyway, but also they're they're kind of weak to like the big I don't know what you'd call it, but like the munitions that are more explosive and impact than an energy attack. That, I think that makes sense. So I was trying to just charge shots, but I think that worked better. The missiles, I mean. Uploading data. CPR appears to be powered by thermal energy. Magma is pumped from the planet's interior and routed from there. I have located the central routing system for the magma. It is here in Cataris. Samus, your current suit cannot protect you as you explore Cataris. The Cataris. The is cataract. For it. Under no circumstances should you enter high temperature areas. I know the shuttle somewhere above here. Use it to find a path forward. There is one other thing to discuss. It is your new Phantom Cloak ability. The Phantom Cloak prevents the Emmy from detecting you. Thus far, your only option was to run. Now, bypassing them is also an option. Use this to reach your objective. Note that using the Phantom Cloak 
severely decreases your mobility, and direct contact with an enemy will still result in capture. It is up to you whether to hold your position. Just be aware of your surroundings. The Phantom Cloak is useless. Once an enemy sees you, you will need to evade capture until it gives up pursuit. The Phantom Cloak can remain active after your aim has been depleted. It will consume your life energy instead. Consider it a desperate measure. Remember, it cannot drain your energy down to nothing. Judicious use of this technique will improve your probability of survival. I remembered uh, something I was going to say. So I was contemplating how I kind of wish I kept the old, old recordings and categorized it under Ice Fails, which is like the blooper series. And, uh, like, originally that was mostly designed for Fire Emblem, since uh, that would have a lot of reset maps. I was getting L and R confused, so I was firing so many missiles but not aiming them. I guess we can't do anything with that. Okay. Actually, want to see. Wait, maybe this there isn't anywhere else. Hell well, yeah, let's just, let's just move forward. That looks interesting. There's some suspicious looking butterflies here, but so far it looks like they don't do anything. Do anything with that. This is the spooky music. I think we both heard each other. Okay. So this is that room I was talking about where I got stuck. So apparently this this lava uh or magma like switch it redirects it so this door becomes unusable and like I knew this was here but I was you know my brain wasn't working so I and well we hadn't slid under anything in such a long time so uh, well that's my excuse for forgetting that you could slide under it So I was stuck there for uh, quite a while. Wow. That's a pretty big blast of energy. Come at me, fools. I hate them. So much. Those kind of remind me of an enemies from uh what's it call it? Keep forgetting the name. Uh Fusion. I don't know if I don't remember them exactly, so I don't know if they're exactly the same or if something about them just reminds me of them. I thought that got, that's kind of a weird position. Oh, they just throw themselves at you, I see. Oh, thanks a lot, fellas. Uh, so I think this is some kind of, like, special energy door. There's kind of a weird triangle, like, it's almost kind of off of the game screen. Like, it's, well, I mean, it's, like, it looks like it's outside of, like, I don't know, the dimension or something. Or maybe I'm just not seeing it right, so that's some kind of special door to be used later. And 
and I think these things, like using charge shot, I don't think it's very effective against them. But well, we hadn't seen them attack very much. I, you know, I've been killing. Well, yeah, let's look at that one. They kind of remind me of the enemies from Super Mario World, the plants that uh, you know suits out. Uh, <coughs> it suits out like well, not it's not a quite rapid fire in, in that game, but uh, it reminds me of a Mario World enemy, Super Mario World. It's like in one of the early levels, and uh, I guess I noticed against them since they suit a bunch of little bullets very quickly. In other words, in rapid fire. Now that's very clever camera work. It makes you think, oh no, Samus is caught. But then off cam when when Samus is off camera, she turns her invisibility ability. <laughs> invisibility ability. Anyway, it turns that on. Like, oh clever clever work. Clever camera work. Anyway. Uh So that kind of is what taught me to try rapid fire against them and that maybe some people aren't weak to charge shots as much as rapid fire, perhaps. I'm gonna pay close attention to the map. That kind of because that kind of reveals where the enemy is. Oh, bother. We need uh, some magma for that door. There it is. top one is for, because this one's going to the left. I don't think it's going to go all the way to the right, so we need to activate this one here, and then it'll activate over there to the left, so we can get the one on the top. That'll get us past here, I suppose. I so just wanted to do that first before saving, eh? I guess. Pretty sure you come up over here. I don't think you should go through there, though. There was, is a cold room that I sometimes go through. Well, I went through a couple times. I, I died going far into it, but going just a short ways, it works out that. Uh, I see. Anyway, there's there's an item we can get by going through a cold room. Might want to get that, but through a, a different route. Okay, X5 precisely. Oh, I guess you gotta put energy into it, like 
it's not just it's not moving it in a circle, but it's moving it quickly and powerfully. So kind of use a charge shot. that table, that window. I think. Yeah, it's more advisable to counter here because it's too hard to aim. Oh, can't do anything with that. Oh, and we can't... Well, maybe we could get it on the way down, but... If we're getting it on the way down, then we may as well just wait for it to get down here. Hmm. I guess this one only opened from that side, perhaps? Side, just not this side. Okay, now we can go through that one lava door. That seems so unnecessary at times, I think. What was up here, anyway? I guess you don't need that, because uh, there's a statue there, but, well, now we're full, so there's that. Alright, now we've got to wheel with the Emmy. Emmy! That's real nerve-wracking if you happen to... ...be where an Emmy is if, if they're, uh, chasing you. to be able to go down there because of the camera angle, I guess. Yeah. That only worked because the timing is a little more generous than I thought. So, I guess that's not too bad, perhaps. I seem to remember being almost dead here because of them. I mean, something about the way they... that you have, you have to fight them. Hey, we're... Oh, whatever. Oh, is that him? Samus definitely takes a little while to duck. Here we go. 
definitely getting a little closer to where I was before, but I don't know how much closer it's going to be. ME stands for Expert Planetary Multiform Mobile Identifier. Yeah, thanks. It can procedurally modify and enhance its own capabilities. Its ability to configure itself to fit into narrow spaces is a standard feature. Any ME you encounter will likely do so as it pursues you. That's funny, because it didn't before. You are not capable of destroying their armor plating. This would be true even at your full capabilities. You are faced with overwhelming power. Accept your helplessness. Study each ME carefully, and use the Phantom Cloak to advance. There are risks even here. The Phantom Cloak reduces your mobility and consumes more AN when you move or shoot. It is still your best chance at survival. Do not hesitate to destroy an ME whenever you discover more unique energy. This was not one of your original priorities. However, I see no other way to accomplish your goal. These existential threats cannot be sanctioned. Alright, so basically what you're saying is... I'm screwed. No, I remember having two of those, but I think I repeated one of them. What the heck? How did you do that? Well, at least it's a limited range. I don't remember ever fighting. I don't think I'm... I don't think I made it this far, though. Or, no, 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 no. I thought I made it further than here, though. I wonder if I really did, uh... That really... This really is the... As far as I made it since last time. I don't think so, though. I swore I... I could have sworn I got further than that. I just don't remember. Can't get that. Maybe I have made it further than before. Maybe we, I, we are caught up. I guess I could have ended it on the notes of him giving that warning about the Emmy. Because now it kind of does seem a little unfamiliar. Okay, well I guess we're caught up. Uh, well, we're at 28. We just did a nice save there. But... Let's see what happens if we go a little further. I really like these Emmy areas. These are so nerve-wracking. There's one coming right over there. Let's just go. Alright then. Hmm. Maybe that doesn't do damage to him. Ow. <laughs> you can crawl under it. Or, or... Not dodge. Slide. Oh, we got that thing working. Is that just gonna make it so that one piece will move? Oh no, it lowers the lava. Or magma, rather.
Oh. Wait a second. Get to the safe point. All right, let's uh, close it out here. So I guess we'll explore.